Hi guys, Zuchi here. I hope you're doing well. It's a lovely day here in Perth. It's a beautiful winter's day with lots of sun. Anyway, I just want to give you an update on some of the nozzle, the nozzle change that I made and some printing that I did in 0.3 and 0.1 millimeter layer heights. So if we look at the nozzle, because the nozzle is obviously at an angle compared to the bed, there's a chance that if you tilt it too much that the edge of the nozzle can touch the bed. So what I did was I replaced the, the E3D V6 clone nozzle with a Mark 7 nozzle. You can see in these pictures that the E3D V6 nozzle, it almost touches the bed at 35 degrees but the Mark 7 nozzle does not touch the bed. <coughs> that was another reason why my bed is only at 35 degrees and not all the way to 45 degrees because when I started I was using the E3D V6 nozzle. Now the one thing that I had to change was the, the heat block. So the the screw part of the the Mark 7 is a bit shorter than the Mark than the E3D V6 screw part. So I took a drill and I just drilled a hole into the uh, the heat block here so that the Mark 7 can go in a bit deeper so that the heat break can still be above the block. The next thing that I did was I printed these hands. It's part of a, a dragon that I found on uh, my mini factory. So the first one I printed at 0.3 layer height and this one the extrusion was still out so there's a lot of stringing going on but you can see on the hand there are quite a bit of gaps where there, there wasn't enough support. Then I changed to a 0.1 millimeter layer height. Now something went wrong over here. It looks like the nozzle moved to the left and to the back as well. So I'm not sure what happened that there, that was in the middle of the night. The print quality is pretty amazing. It's a bit about this part here, so if you ignore that, you can see that it looks really good. I'll try and get some close-ups for you. So that was just a quick um, update on what I've changed. So changing the E3D V6 nozzle for a Mark 7 nozzle and then testing 0.3 and 0.1 millimeter layer height. So I'm very happy at the moment with, with the results. Here's another close-up of the 0.3 versus 0.1 layer height. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that it's pretty crazy to think that you can print a hand like this without any support and it's just hanging in space like that. And yes, I still haven't replaced the belt. Thanks again for all your support and comments, I really appreciate it. I think in the next video I should probably do a video on things to avoid and things to try and do if you're trying to build your own printer like this. Hope you have a great day.